Hey everyone, so I got this uh, stereo speaker amplifier board from eBay. It uses the 8002 ICs class AB amplifiers. Uh, they are single channel amplifiers, so you can see there are two of them on the board. So the board has a speaker output, obviously, left and right, 3.5mm jack, uh, on off switch, which is nice and can be powered uh, with uh, 5 volts either from this uh, menu USB port or uh, there is also a port for a plug-in battery so I'm gonna test uh, this board in this video and I'm also gonna compare it to the PAM8403 a digital amplifier board this one is a class AB amplifier and uh, yes, see what I get. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my headphone jack from my phone as a function generator and I'm gonna generate a triangle wave because I think uh, with a triangle wave uh, we could see the deformations uh, pretty nicely because of the sharp peaks and uh, I'm gonna change the frequency from about uh, 100 Hz to maybe 18, 19 kilohertz and see what I get on the output from the amplifier so as you can see right now I have the oscilloscope probes on the headphone jack and I'm also changing my frequency so let's change it back uh, 100 ok we are back at 100 so right now peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage, I don't know if uh, you can see this, but it's uh, about uh, half volt. And also the amplifier will be is, is powered from an USB, that's 5 volts obviously. And it's connected through this amp meter. And from time to time I will connect this uh, forum speaker to, to see what the current draw will be when, the, when there is some load uh, on the amplifier. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the PAM8003 amplifier, which uh, I suspect uh, I should change this to sine wave, <laughs> which, I, which I suspect that uh, the digital amplifier, the PAM, that it will kind of wreak havoc, havoc on this uh, little oscilloscope, because the oscilloscope can handle maybe up to 50 kilohertz, and the switching frequency of the PAM amplifier is uh, is uh, 200 kilohertz, I think. So yeah, we'll see how how that turns out. But whatever, let's get started. Okay, so I switched the oscilloscope probe uh, to the amplifier output, and uh, so peak to peak now is uh, at around uh, 1.7 volts. So that's over three times the amplification, and this doesn't look at all like a triangle already. So let's try to connect the speaker. Right now, the current draw without any load is is almost nothing. This is uh, 9.5 uh, milliamps. So let's try the speaker. What it does? Come on. So with the speaker is like 165 milliamps. So with two speakers it will be about twice as much. So like 330. So let's start increasing the frequency. Oh, the amplification actually gets uh, quite a bit higher with higher frequency. But at 200 hertz it's before it was a little over three times, now it's almost six times. So let's go even higher. Now this looks more like a triangle now, at around 600 hertz. I need to switch this. So it seems that uh, at the lower frequencies uh, the signal was deformed, uh, deformed a lot more and also the amplification was slower. 
So right now uh, peak to peak is 4 volts, which is 8 times the amplification. By the way, uh, the peak to peak from the phone is still 1 volt. I checked it at different frequencies and it was uh, 1 volt. Oh, 0 0.5 volts, sorry, all the time, no matter the frequency. So let's try the speaker now. The current draw is of the scale, so I'm gonna connect it to the unfused. Okay. That's like a point, point 0.3 amps, so 0.6 amps would be for two speakers. So let's increase the frequency some more. The amplification now stays uh, stays uh, stable at around eight times. Means uh, there's a five volts peak to peak on the input and four volts, 0.5 volts peak to peak on the input and four volts on the output. So at let's go 1500 hertz. And again, try to connect the speaker. This is difficult. I need to. I need to have a better setup now. <laughs> that is uh, 250 milliamps. So let's go to three kilohertz. Damn it! I have very bad fingers. Phones hate me. Still looks pretty nice as a triangle. It was deformed only at uh, low frequencies, it seems. So at 3 kilohertz, the amplification still the same. Now let's try the speaker. Come on. All right, I will switch this up a little. Right, so that's uh, 2200 milliamps and I'm almost deaf. So yeah, that wasn't very fun, but <laughs> yeah, I have to sacrifice something for, for science. So let's go up to 5000 hertz now. Look at the phone. So my fingers are too damn wet all the time. So right now the peaks of the triangle doesn't seem as sharp anymore. The amplification also dropped a little, but only by, t by 0.3 volts. It was uh, 4 volts peak to peak, now it's like 3.7. So go for speaker. Again, 22, 22 milliamps, uh, 2200 milliamps. So let's go higher now. The amplification is dropping, dropping a little. And right now it looks more like a sine wave than a triangle already. Do I still have triangle here? Yes. Okay. Peak to peak drop a little bit more. So speaker. Oh this is only six thousand hertz. Let's go let's go higher. Yeah, eleven thousand hertz. Let's not make this uh, this video last too long. Come on. And it's only point uh, 130 milliamps right now. So I guess uh, with the higher frequencies, it also takes less power to amplify. So I'm gonna switch the amp meter back to unfused. And let's go all the way up to 
16 kilohertz and this looks completely like a sine wave now doesn't look like a triangle at all so let's try the speaker It's like 100 milliamps, but I think the speaker isn't quite handling it bit of because I was I wasn't ex expecting to hear this so much. Anyway, let's go to 19,000, and that's the last one. As you can see, the peak to peak is drop a lot again, so not not so much amplification at uh, so high frequency. So. Yeah, and uh, the oscilloscope isn't quite handling it either. And it's a bit too high frequency for this, I guess. Anyway, so let's try the speaker. Yeah, only 45 milliamps now. So this was the 8002. Class AB amplifier, and let's move on to the pain to the class D amplifier. Alright, so now I have the digital amplifier connected. So the input is uh, 100 Hz uh, triangle wave, uh, the same as it was uh, with the class AB amplifier. So this is the best I could do with this oscilloscope. You can see the switching frequency is really fucking, fucking it up, so it's hard to say how exactly it looks. But what's important, it's uh, peak to peak is uh, around 9 volts, which at this frequency I think it was only like uh, one and a half volts with the with the AB amplifier. So let's uh, try to connect speaker and see the current draw at 100 hertz. Come on. That's 250 milliamps. So twice twice as much for, for two speakers. So let's go higher with the frequency. To 500 hertz or 440, yeah that's nice number. Again yeah, the, the switching frequency is, well, well, the oscilloscope doesn't quite handle it, but anyway, peak to peak is uh, 9 volts. By the way, before, when I connected the load, the speakers, the peak to peak dropped 3 volts, so there, there's quite a bit difference. Yeah, the oscilloscope uh, works a lot better when the when the load is connected. So it's uh, again the peak to peak dropped about three volts from nine to six, which is like twelve times uh, amplification. But uh, so let's go higher. Go fifteen hundred hertz. Again, it's around uh, 250 milliamps, but yeah, the drop in peak-to-peak -peak voltage is the same. So, no, 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 not back. Let's go 4,000. Amplification is still the same. It, it's nice that uh, with this uh, amplifier, the amplification doesn't seem to be dependent on the frequency at all. While with the class AB amplifier, there was uh, different amplification at different frequencies. 
Uh, let's go 5000 or 6000 Hz almost. Still the same amplification. A little bit uh, less drop at the peak to peak voltage when I connect the speaker. It was now like uh, seven and a half volts, but the amplification is pretty much still the same, so that's quite impressive. So let's go 10,000 hertz. The as uh, the spec sheet said that the switching frequency of this amplifier is uh, 200 kilohertz. So you can't really take this seriously because uh, the oscilloscope can't really handle anything beyond uh, 50 kilohertz. So yeah, not much to say about the shape. So let's connect the speaker. Peak to peak is still 9 volts, which is nice. The input is uh, 0 0.5. Right. Let's go to. 1500 still the same peak to peak still the same amplification so the last one I would do yeah 20,000 Hertz right now or 20 kilohertz why not Actually, it, uh, right now it uh, dropped quite a bit, the amplification. So I guess uh, I think that there may be a low pass filter on the board, I don't know. Anyway, I shouldn't hear anything now, but yeah, but that could be the speaker, that could be the phone, that could be anything. But this is frequency is way too high to fully get get anything. So yeah, so that was it. I hope you get got something out of this video. So the class D amplifier as expected seems to be a lot more efficient. A lot higher amplification at the uh, same power input. And as for the so sound quality I can't really say much. I guess that would be just subjective when you connect speakers. Because this, this oscilloscope isn't really representative of what actually uh, the wave will look like. So yeah, that's it. Bye.